Hi, it's Carissa, and I have a different kind of video for you today. Today I'm going to show you how I unmount my stamps so that I can store them in CD cases like this, and then it allows me to use them with acrylic blocks. I was running out of room in my stamp space, so I really had to come up with a solution. It was either get rid of some stamps that I really didn't want to do or find another way to store them more efficiently. And this is what I ended up doing with all my stamps. I have about 100 stamp sets now. The other thing I really like is that when you're using these acrylic blocks, you can see exactly. So I just wanted to mention about unmounting your stamps is that you really should do it with some consideration because if you're planning on selling your stamps later, maybe this is not the best option for you. But if you know that you're going to keep them for a really long time and, and that it's a stamp set that you love and, and you really just need more room, then maybe this is a good option. If you're just starting out stamping, you may just want to stick with the wood blocks and, and go from there. But like I mentioned before, I really had to come up with a solution and that's the reason that I did it. Now it does allow me to store them in these CD cases and I can get several of them. I have a hanging CD case on my wall, have all my stamp sets in there and it makes it really nice for me. Um, I do have them labeled on the spine. Let's see if you can see that. And I also stamp the images on these CD. The other thing to consider is that in addition to purchasing the stamp set, you also have to purchase the easy mount foam, the CD cases to store them in, and the CD case labels. So it is kind of an investment to do this. So I did want to mention those things. Maybe it's not the best idea for you, but I did it and I know that some people have asked me how I did it and so I wanted to share that with you today. So I'm just going to show you how I do this and what you'll need to do this is this Easy Mount Stampin' Store foam and I buy mine on eBay and you can see that I've already used part of this sheet of foam to mount some of my or unmount some of my other stamps. Now normally if your stamps are already are already mounted on wood blocks, um, if they're older they're going to be more of a challenge and it's going to be a lot of work and when I first did mine I did about 80 stamp sets and I spent several days working on this project. Not all day every day but I, I just want to show you the difference. When I pull this off here, you're going to notice that a little bit older stamps, they really want to cling to this foam that they're already on. And that's good if you're using them on the wood blocks, you want them to. But the challenge with unmounting your stamps, and I don't know if you can see this, is that I have a little bit of that foam still left on the back of my stamp. And I really need a clean surface to put this on my new foam. So what I use, I use this, it's by Walnut Hollow. It's a craft knife but it actually plugs in and it heats up. So it gets really super, super hot. And I've tried different methods of doing this. You can microwave it and try to loosen that up. You can use Goo Gone. Sometimes if you can see this one's just rubbing off but there are several of them that are very stubborn and the sticky stuff doesn't want to come off so I just take this hot craft knife and I just scrape the back of it and I just scrape that extra foam back off and that way I have a nice clean stamp for putting on my new foam. Get that off of there. But I wanted to show you the difference because this is a little bit older stamp and it was really hard but my new stamp sets if you'll notice I've, I've noticed that when I get them and they're new and they're on their Stampin' Up! foam I've noticed that they just they really do peel nicely off of the foam pretty cleanly and you just kinda need to clean it up a little bit and get it prepared for mounting on your new foam. So I'm just wiping this down just to get some of that residue off to make sure that I get a good bond to that easy mount foam that I'm going to put it on. So now that I have this rubber, this is my stamp, 
I'm going to take my Easy Mount foam. This is very sticky. When I get my fingers stuck on it, you can see. And I'm just going to place it in front of me. And this black thing that you see underneath me is actually a granite tile right here. And I pulled this out of some extra construction material that we had from our house and I just figured um, that it wouldn't be a big deal if it got messed up. So I'm just going to place this on here and I would do my whole stamp set at one time and sometimes I do several stamp sets at one time. And then you have kind of two options when you're doing this. Um, you can use your craft and rubber scissors from Stampin' Up, which are great if you have to trim and cut out stamps. Really, there is no comparison to the craft and rubber scissors. Trying to use a normal pair of scissors, it just doesn't cut it. Now, you can use this and you can cut it out, but I really don't like that sticky mess. So I just use this hot knife again, and I allow the heat and the blade from that to do the work for me. And I just trim right around the edges of these stamps. And I'm hoping that you can see how I'm doing this. And I just get as close as I can. Sometimes the curves are a little bit harder to go around. I'm, I apologize if I'm working out of the work area. I zoomed it in so you could see it. And I'm just going to trim around this entire stamp with this hot knife. And when I say hot knife, I am not joking. This thing gets so hot. One time I decided I was going to try to adjust my blade while it was on. And I burnt my finger really bad. So once I get that all kind of trimmed around, sometimes it, I go around just to make sure I've got it good and broke up. Now I'm not trying to go through the paper on the back of this. I'm just trying to get the foam cut out. So I'm going to go all around it and then if I set this down you can see that I can just pop this out. And there I have it. That's all there is to it. Now it's ready to go on this acrylic block and stamp. I put it in a CD case to store it. This this is not a sticky, it's a vinyl cling. So when I put it on there, there I have it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day.